CSGO Battle Royale, could it happen in the future of the game? Maybe, just so. That's why I want to make this video for all of you guys to see if CSGO should or should not make the Battle Royale. Now, it's not my usual video, as you guys can probably tell if you're a fan of the daily news shows around here. I have no webcam right now because I want to make some clear points, and I had to write all of these out as to kind of make some clear demonstrations as to what could happen if CSGO does introduce Battle Royale or if it does not. And of course, I'm sure many of you guys are aware of the kind of the uh, the whole spur of the Battle Royales these past few years, about a year and a half or so, with PUBG. PUBG first, then Fortnite. Fortnite obviously taking over the entire world. And as you guys can tell, I'm, I'm still here though. I'm still uh, talking to the camera. But just I want to make some really good points about this. So should CSGO incorporate a battle royale? Should it not? Will it? And what was the downfall of CSGO over the past few months? We're going to talk about all those points throughout the video. And the main thing I want to ask of you guys as I go back to the talking to the camera part, I want to ask you guys to comment down below what do you think and give me some details as to why. So if you guys support the battle royale movement, say exactly why. If you guys are against it, say exactly why and give some reasons uh, down below in the comment section. So let's get into it though if CSGO should incorporate this whole battle royale thing. And I really think the immediate response of many people out there is going to be no. They should really stick to their core of course being the FPS they are and really uh, let PUBG and Fortnite do their thing. If I wanted a battle royale and first person shooter I can go to PUBG now after their second incorporation of that. If I want a third person battle royale I can also go to PUBG and if I want to build up and up and up the entire day I can go to Fortnite which is seemingly doing just, just fine on its own. And I, I don't want to say as well, or I do want to clarify, I love the game of Fortnite. It's been the first game I have ever played ever since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 where my friends actually know what it is and my friends actually play it. And the first game I've ever played though where my mom and dad actually come up to me and say, what is Fortnite? But they're doing something right and they're doing something that Valve has never done and that's actually listen to the community week in and week out. Now I do understand that Valve has made some great updates way in the past of CSGO, but they've certainly struggled as of late and that's the main topic of the first part of this video uh, is actually going to be of course the downfall in the CSGO player base we have seen over the course of the past two to three months. Now, I think this actually started about the beginning of April or late March. Uh, first, of all, first of all, people making a lot of excuses. It was uh, first the seven-day trade ban, which Valve incorporated, which saw the first dip in player base numbers. Now, people refused to actually admit it was a dip in player base numbers. There were several excuses out there, the first of which was April being a short month, uh, so that way the player base numbers were not actually fully adjusted to a 30-day period, but instead a 28-day period, so people believe that and then we had actually into May as well and people thought okay the player base numbers are still down but it's actually because most people out there most kids are actually still in school their summers are not officially started until late May or early June and that's why the player base numbers are still down and now we are now here guys in July and all throughout June we worried about this where we kind of realized that okay Valve is first of all not going to revert the seven-day trade ban and now we also have lately of course in June the most recent event that Valve has done to probably hurt the player base numbers is of course their lawsuit or their alleged lawsuit suit against uh, OP skins and shutting them down and pretty much killing the entire gambling scene as of right now, which has definitely hurt the game itself. And I, I do, of course, you guys know my, my stance on gambling. I've supported in the past. They've been a sponsor of my channel in the past. And I do frequently say that gambling is definitely a good thing for most games out there. In terms of boosting player-based numbers, a community thrives when you have an in-game market and economy like CSGO did. And with that being temporarily shut down on OP skins and the gambling scene being hurt by that, the game is definitely flustered because of it. Now, I I also do agree and quickly want to point out the player base is probably better off without the gamblers out there because we are now a core group of people who actually play the game and enjoy it for what it is but you cannot deny the fact that the game has definitely been hurt by OP skins and of course by Valve's actions the past two to three months. So obviously we have to go into the reasons as to why maybe they should not get a BR or maybe why they should get a Battle Royale mode as well and so let's clarify that and then we'll clarify later on if it's actually feasible for Valve to go about doing this and I do apologize if it's probably going to be a longer rant video for all of you guys who have actually tabbed out and are playing the game of CSGO. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. So first of all, my reasons as to why not to get a battle royale, they're pretty straightforward. And again, feel free to comment down below your more expansive reasons, something maybe I didn't think about and maybe other people are thinking about. Feel free to share those down below. So first of all, it simply would take away from the pro scene. If this was an established game mode in itself, alongside that of matchmaking or competitive, it would directly take away from the pro player base and could definitely split that scene. If it ever comes to the point, and I definitely want to stand by this, if the game ever comes to the point where upcoming potential pro players have have to choose between competitive matchmaking CSGO or Battle Royale CSGO in which to go pro in, the game to me will be dead. It reminds me of a player split or kind of a player based split that RuneScape did back a few years ago when they actually split the game between old school and what is now RuneScape 3. They actually split the game directly in half. I think slightly more players still play the main game but definitely a big player split there and the game was never the same ever since then. On top of that though, if they do actually do this, uh, there's a lot of reasons why not to do this as well but it really kind of 
it comes down to do you want to copy what is currently in right now that of course being the battle royale mode and when that does die out do you really want to be the one of the games out there that beat it to a pulp just to get as many young kids playing your game for a short period of time are you here for what is in or are you here for longevity and what has made your game great ever since it did come out in early 2000s and those are the bulk majority reasons it would split the player base and if pro players or players players in general had to choose between the two game modes itself if it was an official game mode as it, of course it could be a small side game as well that would definitely hurt the game now there are a lot more reasons though I, I kind of say unfortunately you guys can probably tell which side I'm, le side I'm leaning towards I might be wouldn't mind seeing this as a, a, si a small side mode and it leads me to my reasons as to maybe why CSGO should get a battle royale first of all it would definitely boost player base I don't think there's many arguments out there right now the majority of players in in this scene in general battle royales would definitely at least try the game out itself and it could be a big boost in player base not only of younger kids but also maybe returning CSGO fans who actually have left the game because of Valve's previous decisions it would be a definite immediate player boost in my, in my own opinion to the game itself if they did it right it could be very successful for player base numbers and bouncing off one of my main negatives if it was a main game mode it could also just be a small side game mode we actually have Infranorse uh, one of the inside sources he's actually talked to apparently saying that this is not going to happen battle royale modes not even in the in the actual feasibility of CSGO in general and it would be a small survival game mode which I would agree with if it has like a small game mode like that of when an operation comes out you know we had wingman come up and obviously wingman became, became kind of a semi-official game mode in itself of course pro players aren't really playing wingman either so it's not that official but a small side game mode that actually becomes uh, some sort of its own identity would actually be a very cool thing and if it was a survival mode or battle royale or something along those lines it'd be very cool to see how valve could incorporate that alongside everything else now also on top of that if they did it right it would do one of two things the first of which that I really want would come back to CSGO for is it could be a great way to practice your aim in CSGO I think one reason I play Fortnite so frequently now is it does keep me in touch with my computer skills now I don't have too many in touch in-game skills but when I play Fortnite I at least feel like I'm not getting stale when I'm playing this video game when I play Fortnite for a couple of hours at a time I know that I'm keeping my mouse and my and my kind of my button configurations I'm keeping myself loose in terms of any game out there I can actually switch back and forth between CSGO and Fortnite quite frequently and at least retain some of my aim. It'd be a great way to bring back old players and instead of actually having to do the same aim map, the same community server over and over again to practice your aim, you could in fact switch to a battle royale or survival mode inside CSGO to keep yourself warmed up and it'd be a great option to have on the side. Now very lastly as well, it'd be a nice realistic battle royale compared to that of PUBG or Fortnite. If you guys are familiar with those two game modes, they're very heavily RNG based and very different from CSGO and the fact that most CSGO go shots are going to do a defined set of damage. Now, I guess every once in a while you can hit an op shot in the wrong spot. It won't be a one shot, one kill, but most of the time that's going to be a non-RNG based game like CSGO. And that's why I think, honestly, from a viewer standpoint, that's why CSGO has done so well. There is no RNG, there's no bloom as compared to PUBG and of course the Battle Royale mode of Fortnite. A lot of that is actually RNG based, not only in its shooting, but as well as the loot it actually, of course, you can get throughout the entire game. Now, of course, the loot's always going to be RNG for most Battle Royale games modes out there, but Valve has a great door to open here if they do a smaller map size, which brings me into my very last point about the entire video in terms of feasibility. So you guys have heard my, my moments about what about maybe why we should not get a battle royale and the extensive list as to maybe why CSGO should get a battle royale as a side game mode or maybe even a survival mode as a very, very side game mode, not going to be a main mode at all because I don't want it to take away from the game. That's the probably the main stress I want to make. But very importantly, we have to think about the feasibility of all of this. And I honestly can tell you guys, I think there's no possibility we ever see a battle royale mode like Infranorse and other sources have set out there inside the game of CSGO strictly because a game mode of 50 plus 50 to 100 players typically is what you see for battle royale and Fortnite of course and PUBG 100 players that seems in, in fathomable for Valve to actually do to actually incorporate a game right now they're already struggling enough when we see you know casual 10 on 10s or whatever it might be to actually have 100 players in a single server to develop a map out there large enough for those 100 players would take Valve an infinite amount of time especially because you can the amount of time it's taken for UI panorama. I mean, you go back to the R8, the Negev updates, uh, uh, Source 2 engine not even out yet. You would think in feasibility terms to actually develop this kind of thing all for like a side game mode, it would not be in the realm of possibilities for Valve to do. Now, I could be wrong, but again, that also makes more to the point. I would love to see a small survival mode anywhere from 20 to 30 players. It would be a side mode inside CSGO, a great way to keep up with your aim as well as develop new maps out there. And it could also extend your own map pool because if you're going to be doing a survival mode all across the map itself you're gonna become more familiar with the game itself all the maps out there inside CSGO that you have you probably have never played really to a full extent I think it'd be a great idea so overall you guys have heard my points feel free to 
to comment down below what you guys think. And I know I kind of I kind of convinced myself throughout the video. I definitely started off by saying that battle royale would be would be a bad idea, and I think it still would be in the sense that battle royale is currently defined in the game modes out there. You know, 100 players not feasible. Huge maps not feasible. RNG and Bloom have to go away. I think Valve have an open door here for a side game mode, 20 to 30 players, kind of a casual game mode as well, and not so much RNG based. A great side mode out there that could come with an operation. It could come obviously a bit late with the UI Panorama launch uh, actually last week as well, but it's a great open door for Valve to actually take advantage of for players to come back to CSGO, use CSGO, and enjoy that survival slash battle royale mode. That's going to do it for today's episode, I guess, of not CSGO news. I hope to see you guys more uh, back tomorrow with CSGO news and actual uh, videos on the channel. But if you guys did enjoy the rant, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will see you all next time. My name is Jake, and I like you. Goodbye, guys.